<laughs> so as you saw in our <laughs> keynote yesterday, X-Plane 12 will have a F-14 in it, which is to a short field takeoff and landing aircraft. So we're going to be flying that into Stewart today, um, and it should be a lot of fun. On our judges, we have X-Plane developer Philip Ringler. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. <laughs> He's, what criteria are you going to be judging on today, Philip? All right. Uh, very simple. We have the scenery marked with the distance from the threshold. So if you land within 100 feet from the threshold, that's 10 points. If it's within 200 feet, that's 9 points, and 300 feet, 8 points, and so on. So on a scale from 1 to 10, and if you're within 100 feet, that's 10 <laughs> points. OK. That's pretty technical. I like it. What if you go off the runway? What happens then? Well, off the runway, I guess, is zero. <laughs> zero points for you. <laughs> but that's right. why, why so we have we a second coach. we also want to score on style. So we have Roman, Flight Factor. Uh, he's been in the x -Plane community for a long time. And we wanted him to judge on uh, style points. So tell us what you'll be looking for yeah, there, Roman. So if you, if you haven't watched ice skating, they have a mark for artistry. <laughs> so I'm going to imitate that. And you're going to get a mark from me for artistry of landing. And then the combination will give you your final score. A composite score, exactly. <laughs> so the top three competitors today will get prizes. We have some awesome stuff from Thrustmaster and Honeycomb. So the contestants will take their pick. Over here on the computer hardware side, we have an awesome X-Force PC that uh, runs X-Plane 12 super well. We have uh, Hotas from Thrustmaster, their throttles and their pendular pedals underneath. It's a great setup for flying this aircraft, and yeah, very good. So, should we get started? Let's go. So we have a gorgeous Samsung 49-inch curved display. We really love the immersiveness of this, and it's super easy to set up an X-Plane for a nice wide-angle uh, shot. We have the Thrustmaster Hotus Warthog, which is a perfect stick for flying uh, fighters in X-Plane, paired with their nice throttle, super smooth. The one thing we love about this is that it's all made out of metal. So it's heavy, it uh, feels very realistic and hardcore. Underneath here, we have the Thrustmaster Pendular Pedals. Uh, pedal. Pedal. <laughs> pedal. <laughs> it's an easy fix, no big deal. Uh, I'll have to do that before I get it back to them. So yeah, the other thing is that both of these PCs are actually for sale here at the show today. We have one that's running an uh, 3080 or 3070 Ti. The price point on that one's about 25, 2600. And then we have a second PC that's been running all of the visuals for you guys that has a 3070 and is slightly less expensive. And so if you want more details on the specs or would like to purchase that, just find me. They're brand new from X-Force PC in South Carolina, Austin's childhood friend. Um, so yeah, we're really happy with that. <laughs> I think so. All right, so Philip will unpause. You've got all your controls and best of luck. Let's Thank go. You. All right, he has already lowered the gear. Always a good idea when landing on a runway. Do we have sound for the PC? There we go. There we go. All right, he's giving us some flaps. Of course, he practiced on a Stinson, and it's almost the same speed. Yeah, no hook here. We're not on a carrier. That looks fantastic. Oh my goodness. 200, oh, 300, 400. Excellent. 400 feet. 400 feet. Oh, Very good. 400 feet touchdown. Nice work, Leonardo. <laughs> that was awesome. I, I saw 400 oh, yeah. feet. That's good. Okay. Awesome.
800. I saw an 800. 800. Whoa. <laughs> Tuesday. Oh. All right. Oh, uh, there comes the afterburners. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Really, what 800. <laughs> Look at that water. <laughs> So Steve, thank you for demonstrating our strut compression. We're really pleased with that in the F-14, and that was a great... <laughs> the effect that we just saw in my own native language is called a donkey. A donkey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, we, we, we call that weekdays. So first touchdown on Monday, second touchdown on Tuesday, oh. third touchdown on Wednesday. <laughs> He is used to the hut. Uh, yeah. Do you have a hut in the Stinson? He didn't have a hut in the Stinson either. No hut in the Stinson. <laughs> Someone makes a Stinson with a hut of Playmaker. You know, like, definitely. Alright. I think, I think we should give him, hang on, stop, 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 stop. We should give him the benefit of a doubt. He, he flies an Embraer, so he can't fly an airplane. Um, <laughs> we, we will give him a second chance at that. right now, nicely lined up. Let's go to 150 now. Dropping more flap. Here goes the gear. to keep the speed up a little more. All right. Go 
Looking very good there on the angle of attack. He is almost at target AOA. It's looking pretty good. That looks extremely good. All right, he's dropped the power. 400, I saw a 400, that was awesome. Very nice, good work, Noe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you took out our marker, uh-oh. Uh now we made all That's this. some artistry though. That's some nice drifting is, we've got right that there. That is an awesome side slip. How do we judge uh, slide? <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo Drift meets X-Plane. Philip, as Sebastian Lance, can you explain to us what the angle of attack indicator means in this oh, plane? Um, the angle of attack indicator shows you the angle between uh, the relative wind and your wing. And the goal of the exercise is to fly as close to but not over critical angle of attack to get the absolute, absolute maximum lift out of your wing. Which means the shortest distance. Right, okay. We've Lower the gear now. And of course, no tail hook because there is uh, no ropes there. You could try to get some fish with a tail hook. Sounds like dinner to me. All right, gone for full flaps now. He approaches fast with a very low angle of attack, actually. and. Uh, it looks like he has decided to go the scenic tour for the runway. <laughs> this is not an F-35. <laughs> that was 1,500, but from the other side. <laughs> so look at all those details on the 3D trees. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's all about the trees. trees. <laughs> Thank you, Sebastian. All right, here we go with the flaps and the gear. It's flying a little faster, about 160 knots now. About 145 knots now and uh, about 10 degrees AOA. All right, looks like this is all the flaps we will get. Here comes the speed that brake. Excellent use of the speed brake. 200. <laughs> Slightly off center line, but 200. But only and we have, it looks like an equipment failure right now of the pedals. <laughs> Congratulations, you uh, broke the pedals. <laughs> you know. The F-14's an aging fighter, so that's okay. <laughs> the good thing is, <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, that's fine. Ben was our last contestant, so all set. Oh. Philip and Roman, uh, let's hear some judging uh, we'll from you. Some, uh, the third place. Uh, well, okay, so we are going to call it from the third place up, and then the first place gets to choose the, 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 the prize first. Exactly. That's the idea. So our top three will have their pick of either a brand new Thrustmaster Captain Pack for the Airbus, works perfectly in X-Plane 12 with the new Airbus 330. And then we also have a Honeycomb Alpha Yoke to choose from and a Honeycomb Bravo Throttle. So yeah, people will walk out with some very nice equipment. And of course, the Bravo is extremely hard to come by right now. Yes. So. And what's more, all three of these folks will get a free key for X-Plane 12 as well. Cool. Will I? <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> 
Okay, so third place is Ben with uh, 200 feet and a, well, slightly <laughs> off the runway. <laughs> oh, very good. Congratulations, Ben. So it's better to hit the runway and not break any pedals, but all right. Uh, second place, we have Noah with 400 feet and some sliding. <laughs> good work, Noah. And the winner is Leonardo, who did a very good job. This was a great approach. Very good.